Fenner, owner and operator of Lake Avenue Restaurant and Bar. Um, here to talk about one of our new cocktails, something we're going to be doing maybe once or twice a month, uh, showing you about why and how to make a certain cocktail off our list that's going to be popular or not popular, but always fun to drink and uh, share with others. So, the first one we're going to do today um, is the Lake App versus Manhattan. Kind of a fun take on a Manhattan, which is very, very popular right now, but in my opinion and some of the reading I do about bars and where bar culture is going in the United States is that whiskey's kind of jumping off the train and rum and gin are on the train and leading the charge. Um, so in this case, at Lake Ave, we try to specialize in local and regional and American-made products as far as I'm. But we have, from Cedar Ridge down in Iowa, their dark rum. I have from Cobal out of Illinois, their Rose Hip Liqueur, and then from our friends down in Minneapolis, uh, uh, Bitter Cube Bitters, it's their Trinity Bitters, kind of like their classic all-around workhorse for bitters. And what we're going to do with this is um, take that popular drink, Manhattan, which has sweet vermouth in it, and whiskey, or rye, or scotch, you can put all that kind of stuff in there. But what we're going to do is take this dark rum, what we'll do is just a classic full shot. Um, nothing complicated about this drink at all, except what's great about it are the ingredients, which to me is what makes a good bartender and a, uh, a good cocktail is the product, not necessarily the process to get there. Keep it simple and straightforward. So a full shot of that dark rum, and then a half shot of the rose hip liqueur, and a couple shakes of the Trinity bitters. Um, before we go any further with this, I haven't put any ice in the shaker. Uh, you don't want to build your drink with ice because it will start to melt and dilute the product and you're not really getting the full flavor. So these products, they can just sit and mingle together for a little while. What's great about this drink is a lot of people think that having a high-end, expensive sweet vermouth in your Manhattan is a good idea. Uh, if you taste a lot of sweet vermouths, expensive to cheap, can you taste the difference individually? I'm sure you can. Once you blend whiskey into it, uh, they all kind of taste the same, in my opinion. Um, so what I like to do is bring in something that's close to being like a sweet vermouth, but extremely distinctive, and you'll be able to taste that flavor in the drink. So that's why the sweet vermouth is not in this Manhattan. Uh, what's taking its place is the rose hip liqueur. That's got a lot of the same flavors, but completely distinctive, and it's going to change the drink around. And dark rum, although not whiskey, it does have a lot of the similar qualities, but on a whole different level. I think a much bolder, darker flavor. Um, so what we're going to do, we have those ingredients in here. Let's grab a little bit of ice. A little bit of barbell in there. Be done. Now we have to tap it, get some of those remnants out of there. Get it out of that ice as fast as possible. Get it out of there. There we go. Get rid of that. How we finish this drink is with a little Italian cherry. We're not adding the syrup. We don't need it to be, we don't need any extra sugar in there. Just drop it in. No stirring, no nothing. And we have a, a Lake Ave versus Manhattan. It's a really fun drink. Um, it's a great take on a classic, and I would say that's what Lake Ave is really proud of doing really well sometimes. Whether it's the food, the service, the bar, everything is taken from something and then made our own. Um, no flavor or unique twist on everything. So I look forward to bringing you another uh, cocktail or wine or beer. Maybe I'll have some guests, but this is the first round of Lake Ave uh, videos to be shared and enjoyed with your friends and your family and whoever enjoys a good cocktail with you. Thanks so much.